Well, good evening. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been probably ooh, two and a half months maybe since I last did a vlog and uh, did a video of my photography. Probably, probably the reason for that is I just wanted to focus on going out and taking photographs. It is quite hard to do a video and concentrate on taking photos. Sometimes it's just too much going on and I've heard really good photographers say that. So um, I think it's uh, expected probably that an amateur like myself has found that difficult. And I'm sure you probably have as well if you take videos whilst you're out doing some photography. And tonight really was just to sort of say hello. I've come only 10 minutes, 10 minutes from home, a place I walked last week since we moved to Bicester, I've been on a bit of a hunt to find places to walk nearby and we came to this place called Tusmore Park last Thursday. Beautiful evening, a lot better than, than now. You might notice it's raining at the minute. Um, so here we came here and we just had this lovely walk. There's loads of animals about, a lot of nature. And um, I thought I'm gonna come back tonight. I was going to see if maybe we might get some kind of sunset tonight, but I really can't see it. If you look in the background, very grey, overcast type of evening, maybe we might get a little bit of something tonight. But t tonight is not necessarily about, about the photography, it's not about sunset, it's just about having a walk. It's been one of those and one of those weeks where there's a lot going on at work, it's just nice to get out in the countryside. There's nobody, nobody around. It's beautiful. Just get some fresh air, a bit, a bit of space. So that's why I've come out tonight. And um, I'm hoping, hoping we'll get a couple of nice shots. I, the sort of thing I've been trying to work on recently has been looking with playing with lines whether that's straight lines diagonal lines whether that's triangles and patterns and experimenting with those in some of my photos so if you follow me on instagram simon godfrey uk by the way then you'll have probably seen that in my last maybe six or seven photos whereas before i was doing astro now you know if you want to do astro you have to be up between midnight and 5 a.m which is really hard so more now landscape sunsets is what I've been working with. So tonight we're looking to see if there's any sort of sunset or just something happening in the clouds with the light. See if we can find any interesting subjects, if, if I could find any any lines, any angles and um, and maybe if we get, if the sun happens to break through then maybe some poppies on the edge of a field. Who knows? But what I come across, when I come across it I'll uh, share it with you. So welcome back, by the way, if you are watching this, I really appreciate anyone who does watch my videos and I hope whether you've been following me on here or on Instagram or on Twitter, you've been seeing my journey and my progression. And um, yeah, it's time to put the camera down, enjoy the walk and see what we come across. So one of, the th one of the types of shots I've been looking for lately, and again, you'd have seen on Instagram, is this example of sort of a solitary tree to give a, a point of focus. And I've just stopped, I've walked out of this woodland. This is where I was just walking when I was talking to you before. And I've just came out into the open because, because there was an open. <laughs> and um, you've got this tree here, and, and the sort of thing that catches my eye is, is the tree and then you can see the rain there in the distance. I kind of hope that's not coming in, in my direction. And I kind of look at that as you're seeing it now and think, is there anything there? And there's, there's not quite. Maybe if, uh, if the rain was sort of, um, 
was more visible, I guess, against the against the back light. So if it was more lit from behind, and we had this light here going behind the rain there, and, and the rain was sort of, I guess, protruding more, showing more. Might be a nice shot because there's plenty of lines within this field, and and I took use of those last week. So I was sort of kind of just having a little look at that and thinking. Yeah, there is a bit there, but not quite enough because the rain isn't clear enough. So otherwise it's just a field with a tree and a bit of light behind it. So that's kind of what I'm I'm looking for. And anyway, I'm going to head back into the woodland. I'm going to head up. And what we did last week is we walked across here and there's a lovely little village behind this woodland. But this time I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to go left. And there's a, a monument actually nearby that I'm going to go and try and find. So see if we can find it shall we it looks like I found the monument I was talking about and it's um it's quite like wow what what's what's that doing there <laughs> it's um quite impressive actually let's walk over to it I mean this is I'm in the middle of nowhere here I don't know if you can read that there. I'm just going to zoom in. And it says... In celebration of the Diamond Jubilee of HM Queen Elizabeth II, 2nd of June 2012. And that's pretty... That's pretty impressive, right? With the lions... And the gold... Gold tip on it, gold around here. I don't know if that's gold, it could just be paint. And in the distance, potentially a little bit of light. So I saw that, I saw that. I was looking on Google Maps, just to make sure I'm in focus. Just looking on Google Maps, it's all on the satellite view about a week ago, and I saw that and from the angle that it was taken, it almost looked like a spaceship because it was taken at a, a side angle. So I'm glad I can see what that is now. It's raining reasonably heavy. I'm looking at this thinking, is there a picture? I don't know. It's quite, uh, it's quite regal really. <laughs> you can see all the way down, I don't know if you can see all the way down the bottom. Yeah, you can. All the way down there. <laughs> Really big sort of stately house. God, that's impressive. That is nice. What a find, just in the middle of nowhere. So, God, I'm getting soaked now. I'm going to see if I can find a shot around here. Have a little look, but I think I need to pack, wait for this rain to pass first. So, we'll see. And it rained and it rained and it rained and ironically I think since starting deciding to vlog again I don't think I'm gonna have any pictures I'm um, just walking across here having a little look at the Sun setting over there a little bit of color but not much what I have done you see, I don't know if you can see, there's lots of, because it's raining, there's lots of water droplets on these. So I've just done a little bit of photography there. With the, with a low aperture, like a 1.8 or 2. I tried on my 50mm lens and um, just couldn't get it to focus, so I used the Canon in the end actually. This is the shot. See this, I took this shot last week. Really nice. I might try again actually, there's a different texture to this because of all the rain. It's just got drops, you can see it, it's like almost like a white sheen across the top. So I'm gonna have a go at taking a picture of that, I think. Now actually, one thing that I've just done is something that I was learning about on Nigel Danson's course. And when I took this picture last week, I just had a single uh, focus point, which was probably somewhere over there, and that was it. And I wanted to have a go at uh, focus stacking, and if 
anyone doesn't know what that is, it's when you focus on different points up through the image so you get the whole thing in focus and then you blend them all together. So that's what I've just done actually, is I've just flipped this over and uh, I don't know if that's gonna focus, but I've basically, yeah, there you go. So I've taken maybe five images of different focus points close by, further through the field and then up through to the to the sky so we'll see what that comes comes out like and it's still raining but it's not too bad it's fairly light it's not the worst in the world things have taken a slight turn for the worse ash once said to me she said sometimes you can be the most intelligent person i know and the most stupid person i know and so i was walking through the field a bit like this Hey, like, does that focus? Yeah, a bit like that, right? And I started getting wet feet because I forgot forgot my wellies that bought Ash's cup. All right, I can handle soggy feet. And then I thought to save walking through this bit of woodland and getting even more soaked, I'd walk up the side of the field and take a shortcut. So I started walking and my feet got wetter and squelchier and about my jeans started getting wet and I got to the point of no return but by now it's up to my knees were now soaked up to my knees and my jeans and I've walked I was basically walking over there now if I show you my jeans can you see can you see how wet <laughs> my jeans are <laughs> I am absolutely drenched and I really don't know why I just didn't turn back. I could have turned back, I'd have had wet feet, it'd have been all been fine. I thought, no, carry on, you'll find a shortcut. I didn't. I ended up where I'd been if I'd have just walked through the bit of woodland that I was worried about walking through. And uh, my feet are squelching, my legs are soaked. Annoyingly, just over the tree line, it's a nice little sunset, actually. <laughs> so, do you, does this ever happen to anyone else? You go out, you think I'll have a nice little walk tonight. It starts to rain, rain gets heavier. You take a few shots, your camera bag gets muddy. Water on your lens. If you've got on your wipe to clean it off. Moving the wrong, wrong footwear, your feet get wet. <laughs> jeans get soaked. I think I'm just gonna have to go home have a nice hot shower and write it off and I'm still going to post this vlog because I've got the footage and I don't want to waste it so I hope you've enjoyed our little adventure tonight just over the Oxfordshire border and into Buckinghamshire and I hope next time I come here and take a video it'll be a little bit more productive and a little bit more interesting for you but, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you're all well. And until next time, bye-bye. You thought I was finished. And as I got to the car, I could just see this unbelievable sunset happening behind some trees. So I've got in the car, flown up the road, and I've been treated to this. Now this makes the wet feet, the soggy trainers, and the soaking wet jeans worth it. That's what I hoped for actually tonight when I saw rain between eight and nine and then maybe a little bit of, just had that little sunshine icon on BBC weather. And uh, it's just beautiful, look at that. Probably doesn't show it very well on this camera, but Taking some photos, trying to get the lines, the lines in there. Taking a couple of long exposures, so we'll see. But maybe I've got a good shot out of this and I would feel uh, quite happy about that after a bit of a disaster otherwise. So um, this is the final, the final goodbye. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.